Should you drop out of school if you can squat more than every teacher there? An interesting hypothetical to be sure, and at a certain point it becomes a question of what can these teachers even really teach you at this point? They have obviously demonstrated a lack of respect for themselves and their body, and thus a lack of respect for you as the student. Let's run through some hypotheticals here. Let's say you show up to class, you're 45 minutes late, and the teacher says, you know I'm gonna have to mark you tardy. The second you ask, oh yeah, what's your bench? They immediately lose all credibility. Or let's say you get your test results back, and the teacher pulls you aside and says, you know, based off of this score, you are legally mentally disabled. To which you reply, sorry, I didn't really study, the principal wanted to measure my 25 inch biceps. Now there is an exception to this rule. Someone who is past their time, but in the past could out squat you multiple times over. For example, eight time Mr. Olympia winner, Ronnie Coleman. This is the master Uguay of teachers. This is someone who knows that it is no longer their time and they need to train the next dragon warrior. These teachers are rare, but you must heed their counsel as they will help you to achieve your maximum potential. Now, a lot of people might say, oh, this is just bro science and your ability to lift heavy circles around in your physique is really irrelevant in the field of knowledge. To which I ask, who is without a doubt the most popular teacher today? Do you think that people care about Andrew Huberman just because he's smart? Do you think they care about him just because he's jacked? People listen to Andrew Huberman because he is the American dream of being a jacked scientist to which any argument he automatically wins as he has bested you in both mental clarity and physical prowess. So to answer the question, should you drop out of school because you can squat more than every teacher? Probably not, but you could think about it. 